Hello and welcome to Learn Digital Design. This will be our 20th Inkscape tutorial. Visit us on the web at www.learndigitaldesign.com. Okay, and this tutorial is going to move kind of fast, so if you don't understand some of the concepts that we're going over, you need to go back to some of our previous tutorials and learn the basics because we are going to be covering some rather advanced subjects and I'm not going to have time to go through and explain each in detail. Alright, the effect I'm going to show you here is a pretty neat one that you see on the web sometimes. I'm going to take my pencil tool and make a stroke from left to right down across the screen. You can do it any way you choose, but now I'm going to grab that and I'm going to make it so that I only see the stroke. Go to the stroke, make sure that's selected, make it whatever color you would like, then turn off the fill. Alright, now I'm going to select this. I'll do it again. You, you need to move kind of fast with these. You don't want it to be, you don't want it to be jiggly or ugly. Okay, that's the one I want. All right. Now I'm going to duplicate it in place by going to the Edit Duplicate, or you, you can press Control D. Now that I have it duplicated, I'm going to rotate it. Now we have two lines. I'm going to select both lines. I'm going to generate from path and interpolate. I'm going to leave the settings the way the default are and click apply. Okay, there we go. That's interpolate. Click apply. And you see this nice effect that it gives us. You can use this in the backgrounds on some of your web designs. Um, it looks good as a background and oftentimes you might want to blur it or add a gradient to it and I'm about to show you how to do that as well okay let's move this one out of the way and grab the pencil tool again and make another, another line real fluid quick line okay I'm going to duplicate it as well on this one, I'm going to move the pivot point up to the upper left-hand point on the line. Then I'm going to rotate it from that point. So it's not actually pivoting from the center. It's pivoting from the upper left-hand part. Now I'm going to interpolate it. You can play with these settings and interpolate all you want. And you can get a lot of different effects. But right now, I'm just using the default settings. And uh, you see the second swoosh type pattern we've got here. And it's just like the first, except it starts from one point and gets bigger as it goes. Now I'm adding a gradient. You don't want to just add the gradient with the gradient tool because it'll do what I just did. It'll make it look ugly and it'll try to create a fill. So what you need to do is go to the stroke panel and create a uh, gradient from there. Go to the fill and stroke panel, then go to stroke and select a gradient. Pause the video if I'm going too fast, but then you can go into your edit gradients just like I've shown you in previous tutorials so if you don't know how to do this you're going to need to go back and look at the previous tutorials but here I'm editing the gradient to make it look like uh, look like it does here I'm going to rotate that a little bit and move it over out of the way and now I'll show you a, a couple of different other examples on how we can use the same effect Here's this squiggly line here I'm making. I'm going to apply the exact same thing to it. Moving the pivot point up like that and then rotating it out. And uh, select both. Generate from path, interpolate, apply. Now it kind of looks like a ribbon more or less. delete it and get it out of the way delete both of those lines and I'm gonna do another one this time it's gonna be kind of a zigzag and I'm gonna make it red alright and I'm duplicating it that uh, didn't work Let me 
try to duplicate from the edit menu. Go to edit, duplicate. Okay, there it is. Now select both. Generate from path, interpolate, apply. Alright, well now we have the same effect, it kind of looks like a ribbon, but it's more, it has kind of harder edges because we did more of a zigzag instead of a curvy line. You just need to get down in, into your Escape and play with this to uh, see how it's going to, what kind of different options you can do. Uh, Alright, now I'm going to do the same thing with text. Um, type the word awesome here, and I'm going to copy it, or duplicate and uh, the reason I'm doing that is because you'll see in a minute that I don't want the uh, background text to be as dark as the uh, foreground text at any point because it, you just won't be able to read the text as well it'll all look ugly so what I'm going to do now is duplicate this I'm going to move the rotate point up to the upper left corner and rotate it up I'm going to take the top one and make it a lighter color and I'm going to show you how to interpolate and make things move from one color to another gradually. So go to interpolate and see this box here? You want to make sure that box is checked because if you don't it's not going to work. Okay, click apply and it kind of did what I wanted it to do but uh, um, about to run out of time on the video, so you might need to play with this to get the settings exactly right. This is an experimental setting that Inkscape has added on here, so it may not work exactly like you expect, but it is there. And uh, for these purposes, it worked well enough. So I'm going to resize this front one a little bit, the one that's darker, so we can read it. And there it is. I think it's a pretty nice effect. You may find some uses for it in your designs. You don't have to use it exactly like I did. Uh, you can figure out on your own some other ways to use it. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll.